So I just wanted to explain that if you looked at this passage in your pew Bible, you would see a long list of ancient places around the Mediterranean. And by giving such a long list, Luke, the author of Acts, is trying to convey that the whole world was there at the founding of the church. But our modern ears don't recognize where the Medes live or where Pamphylia is. So I have gone back through the last year's prayers of joys and concerns and replaced the place names in the scripture with ones we have prayed for so we can recapture that intention of the original passage. That is the only change I've made. Sometimes it's hard to remember why we were praying for some of these places, so I've included a list of what uh, we were praying for at the time. And I just wanted to reassure you that as you sit there and listen and you think, you know, I don't think Miami Beach is in the Bible. You're correct. John, would you mind reading the scripture this morning from Acts? When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested upon each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one of them, speaking in the native tongue of each, amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own language? Afghans, Haitians, Norwegians, and residents of Miami Beach, Booth Bay Harbor, and Lawrence, Massachusetts, Ukraine and Russia, Nashua and Brookline, Lithuania, and parts of Tornado Alley belonging to Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, and Kentucky, and visitors from Belarus, both Jews and proselytes, Buffalo, New York, and Valde, Texas, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your loving men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show importance in the heaven above, and signs upon the earth below, blood and fire, and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, the Lord shall be saved. 